Good morning, everyone. It is 7.08, and time now to head back to the laboratory with our favorite mad scientist. Matt Sullen joins us live once again with some more heated experiments. <laughs> Does that hurt, Matt? <laughs> Not anymore. At first it did. <laughs> so uh, the, the last thing we're going to talk about is convection. And convection is pretty interesting. When, when molecules are hot, they move faster. That means they bump around more, and they get further apart. And so that means that hot air tends to be less dense than cold air, which means it floats upward. And so this is the whole principle behind convection. Hot air rises. That's how hot air balloons work, and that's what we're going to do in a moment here. But I can demonstrate how a chimney works first. Here I have uh, a very hot uh, electric heater, which is at the bottom of this glass pipe. There's another pipe that's attached to it that goes in. And now I'm going to do something very dangerous. I need a little smoke, so I'm going to actually light this cigarette so I get a little... That's against the law. <laughs> I know. I don't really smoke, but once you have a knife through your head, you got nothing to lose. Okay, so you can see that the smoke is getting drawn down this tube and it's being basically blown up this tube. So the hot air wishes up the tube on your left and because it's wishing upward, it's drawing cold air down on this one. And so that's how convection works in your house. If you have an electric heater along a baseboard, hot air rises on that side of the room and cold air gets pulled down on the other side of the room and causes the air to circulate in your room. So that's a very important way for heat to get around. Okay, so I'm gonna put this out. <coughs> Um, what I've done here is make a hot air balloon. And it turns out I did a lot of R&D over the weekend, and the guys at the Concord dry cleaning place were really good sports about this because uh, I went and borrowed more and more of these uh, dry cleaner bags. You can take these bags, you can tie off the top. Here I, on the bottom of this thing, I just put some straws to make the, the opening uh, nice and big. And here I have a, a hot air gun, which is basically just a hair dryer. So you can do this at home if you want. So I'm just going to let the hot air go into the balloon by holding it above the, uh, the hot air gun. And in just a second here, I'm going to let this thing go, and you're going to be able to see it rise up to the ceiling. So here I go. I'm just going to let it release it. There it goes. <laughs> now, I didn't hold it over the hot air gun for very long, so it doesn't stay up for very long. But if you do this yourself, especially if you do it outside on a cold day, you could get this thing to go higher than your house. So I was playing with that this weekend. It's actually very cool. There it goes again. Okay, now let me turn this thing off. <clears throat> so, so did your neighbors wonder what was going on there yes, over the weekend? Yes, they certainly did, because the first five or six attempts failed miserably and involved flames and things. I was trying some crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it has to be fun living next to you, Matt. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I, maybe. <laughs> Interesting, anyways. So um, I'm not sure if I have time to explain the, the, the dark house, lighthouse thing, but maybe I could do that at the beginning of the next week. We'll, uh, we'll do that next week, and if people have okay. questions for you, they can contact us news at WCIA.com and if you answer their question on the air they get a t-shirt right yes and absolutely and I'm looking for the question about which takes up more space the water or the ice and why that's important okay well we will answer that soon Mike's sitting off on the sidelines Matt saying "Ooh, I know I know <laughs> <laughs> okay well I hope you you know you get some help for that yeah, head there get that treated yeah, would you I'm going to the doctor <laughs> good call I, actually, I am a doctor yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, thank you, Matt Selen, our favorite mad scientist.